Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. Welcome to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. This is a very interesting beer. It's from New Hampshire. It's a collaboration between two Dairy New Hampshire breweries, From the Barrel and Rockingham Brewing. Together are putting out this 10,539. It's a black IPA with an alcohol by volume of 7.8% ABV. This is the bottle that I bought at From the Barrel. I did get a chance to sample it when it was released today, oh, about three hours ago, at the Rockingham Brewing Company. So this particular beer uh, does not mean there are 10,539 bottles made. It's actually the uh, it's actually brewed because one of the brewers from From the Barrel is moving 10,539 miles away, and they're very sad to see him go, of course. So uh, this was um, this is very interesting. The two breweries themselves are literally. You know, about a half a mile apart, maybe maybe a little more. It's a very short drive between the two. And those of you who watch my channel know that I've reviewed many beers from both From the Barrel and from uh, Rockingham Brewing Company. So I'm going to dig right in and check out this bottle. This um, this ought to be interesting. I'm using a Kelson glass, which is another brewery in Derry, New Hampshire. Interesting that particular area, Derry and Derry and London Derry, New Hampshire. Uh, they have five breweries in those two small towns. The other is 603, and another one called Pipe Dreams. So let's give it a pour. All right. There we go. Okay. It's a black IPA, as you can tell. It's very, very, very dark brown, nearly black, but I'd say it's still a very, very dark brown with this kind of mocha sort of uh, head up top here. Leaves a bit of lacing on the side. It's kind of a thick head, um, soft and kind of just a soft head, uh, you know, sort of foamy. So let's check out the aromas. Oh, right. Well, you're picking up kind of a, you're picking, definitely picking up a sort of fruity character. Uh, like a juicy fruity character a little bit, along with the dark malts that have kind of a, almost like a char, like a, a burnt feel to them. A sort of a sensation along those lines, but also sweet. Uh, like I don't want to say smoky because I'm not picking up that kind of smoky character, but I'm definitely picking up something that's kind of like a burnt or sort of char character, charcoal character, along with this fruity orange-like maybe character. Maybe a maybe a touch dank, not really. I'd say more fruity, tropical fruity as well. Not grapefruit, not pineapple, but. More of those juicy fruits along the lines of orange. Anyway, enough about the aroma. Let's get into the taste. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, the fruitiness is not as evident in the flavor, but you're definitely getting a strong bitterness at the end. It come up, comes up from behind big time. Mm. More of an earthy type bitterness here. And then again, you're getting that same smoky, charcoal, burnt malt character uh, in the flavor with this, uh, you're not really picking up a super fruity character on the flavor like you do on the nose. You're getting more of, a, of an earthy uh, hop character in the flavor. With a lingering bitterness, kind of sits there momentarily at the end of the palate. Uh, the body on this is in the medium range on the smooth side. Mm. Mm. An interesting beer, and it's kind of nice to see these two breweries collaborating um, as a parting gift for uh, one of the people that work there. Uh, it's 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 kind of neat. I'm, I'm, I, we have so many new breweries in New Hampshire these days. I've talked about it in the past. I think there's 60 in the state of New Hampshire now. And literally, when I started doing my beer reviews on YouTube back in 2010, I think we might have had. I don't know, 35 maybe breweries and brew pubs in the state, maybe a little more, but it's almost doubled pretty much uh, since I started doing these almost seven years ago now. So, and this is a nice job. It's a, it's a decent black IPA. Black IPAs, you know, are a little different, of course, than the other traditional sort of IPAs and of course the new hopped up IPAs that are so popular these days. It's because of that dark malt character that just sort of changes it all up a little bit. It gives it a different kind of character, different flavor. I mean, you're still getting a super hopped up sensation, but it's just not as toasty and bready like, you know. You're getting more of a, I don't want to say chocolate like or coffee like, but I'm definitely getting a, a dark 
sort of uh, malt character with, as I said, a charcoal burnt sort of sensation uh, in this beer. So it's, it's, it's just a, you know, it's for people who like IPAs, some, you know, I like the black IPAs myself. Um, they are a little different, and uh, but they still have many of the same expectations with a with a good hop character in them. And this one's not an overpowering hop character, but definitely has a good bitter finish and lingers a bit on the palate, as I already mentioned. So it's really a decent beer, and it's a nice uh, going away gift for Brother Joel, who's uh, who's uh, leaving town, so moving ten thousand five hundred thirty-nine miles away. Anyway. That will do it for now. This beer is only available in New Hampshire, so you really have to come here to get it. So uh, and it's a limited edition, so this is the only time it's going to be brewed, so you might want to get here as soon as you can to try it out. So that'll do it for now. Thanks for watching. This is From the Barrel and Rockingham Brewing 10,539. Thanks for watching. Catch you again next time.